hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel how y'all doing y'all been doing good okay okay um i am gonna go ahead and say i am so sorry for the delay in content but your girl is in summer school and summer school is kicking my tail anybody else out there doing summer school that's watching this go ahead and comment down below ss ain't it that stands for summer school ain't it like it's kicking my kicking my tails is it kicking your tails <sighs> okay but basically obviously by the title of this video you already know what we're talking about we're talking about campus life uh specifically at southern university um it's going to be a mini series as you can see by the part one uh that's in the title um but if you see me looking down at any point i am looking down at my notebook where i have everything written down just to make sure i don't miss anything okay um, and if I do miss something that you want to know about or whatever, go right ahead and comment it down below. I like to, you know, hear your questions. I try to reply. You feel free to DM me on Instagram or any form of my social medias. They're all in the description box down below. Because um, I, I like to hear feedback. You know, I like to know. Like, I like to I like to get an ear. I, I want to hear y'all in my ear. Okay, I'm just, I'm just playing. So, boom. Part one is going to be talking about just housing and dining. Just for part one, I'm trying to keep these videos nice and short and give you guys as much information as possible in a small amount of time because I know your attention spans are very short because mine is very short. So housing, you have dorms, apartments, and off-campus housing, which is an apartment. Breaking down into dorms, you have female dorms, male dorms, and co-ed dorms. For those that don't know what co-ed is, that means basically that male and female live in that building sorry y'all okay so for the females dorms you have toddy which is strictly for freshmen however there are non-freshmen that do reside in toddy um more specifically ras um for those who know what an ra is it is a resident assistant um then you have shade shade is geared more towards the upperclassmen so like sophomores and up however there are freshmen that do reside in Shea Bradford, which is a community dorm. Um, if you actually go look on Southern's website and you look under like their dorms and like floor plans trying to see, they they don't have Bradford listed. I don't, if they did, I'm sorry. I just ain't see. My best friend stayed in Bradford is a community dorm. So community dorms are basically dorms that have a community bathroom. So that whole floor shares that one bathroom. But the rooms are bigger though. The, you have way more space. Um, I know in Bradford they had a sink in their room. So you can, you know, brush your face, you know, brush your teeth, brush your face, brush your teeth, wash your face, you know, get freshened up in the morning. Um, you had a mirror so you can freshen up in your room. Um, but like as far as showering and using a restroom, you have to go use a community bathroom. I am going to go ahead and say I did know my roommate because somebody mentioned X about that in the comments. I did know my roommate prior to moving um to southern so yeah male dorms you have grandison grandison i don't okay when it comes to male dorms i'm not exactly sure which ones are strictly like freshmen or like upperclassmen because i really don't i really think for the guys they really just throw them anywhere um but i know for a fact that jones jones is a regular dorm and it is um strictly like not really strictly for freshmen but it's strictly freshmen like that's a freshman dorm um, that's where you're gonna they're gonna place freshmen in there first um then you have Grandison which is closer to the football stadium so of course football players nine times out of ten you're gonna be staying in Grandison uh you have Reed and White I just got Reed and White from uh Southern's website I actually don't really know that much of I'm a female. I don't really know about that much about Mildor. Then you have co ed, which is Bowley. So I think Bowley is the only like co ed dorm that's on campus. And then you have the apartments, which is the 100s, 200s, 300s, and 400s. Well, off campus, you have the Palisades, or also known as PSAs. Um, that's right across the hump. It's literally like right there. A little bit of the setup of the dorms. So as far as Toddy and Shade, Toddy, Shade, and Jones, we're going to go ahead and loop all of those. Cause they're built kind of the same you have four rooms to a suite so you have like a b c and d and it's two people to each room so a and b have the share bathroom and c and d share a bathroom so basically four people to a bathroom um then you have a common space and in that common space or common area you just have a couch a coffee table and there's also like a little kitchen 
well, like a kitchen sink area. So basically where you could just like, if you happen to want to share a microwave or something, you know, put it out there or whatever, where you wash your dishes basically. Um, and then in your dorms, you have, you know, two beds, two desks, and two like closet things. Um, that's that's about it. Then um, some some dorms in the bathrooms either have just a shower or they might have a tub and a shower. I had just a shower in my dorm, in my dorm room. But I think that's about general. So you have A, B, C, D. Um, D is typically the largest room, I think they say. And as far as community dorms, you have like a larger amount of space. I know Grandison had like this extremely large room, but I don't know if they had like a handicap room or what. Um, I only know because I had to, I do hair. So I was doing a guy's um, twist in, in Grandison. So that's the only way I knew like the room was extremely big. Um, but they do have like a community bathroom where they're all shared and one bowly. So bowly is set up a little bit different. So if it's like, it's like four, well, it depends, but I at least know from this one because I used to go get snacks from this guy. Um, was this like Clay's Corner Store? Let me tell y'all now. Y'all need to go go ahead and follow him on Instagram because he gonna come in clutch with the snacks. Okay, okay, and the prices are affordable. Go so go support that black owned business because he came in clutch so many times when I was hungry, wanted a snack, everything was closed, I ain't had no snacks in my room. So shout out to him. But the only, that's the only reason why I know way I know really what Bowley dorms look like so it's like one two three four bedrooms um and then they share all share a bathroom but basically how the rooms are set up is literally you taking like a regular dorm where it's like two people to a dorm and you split that in half basically like put a wall right there that's kind of what they did and so it's like a tighter like smaller amount of space but and then they all of course they have like a common space area in Westman Call. And then for apartments, apartments come in a four bed, two bath, two bed, one bath, or one bed, one bath. Um, and then what comes with like an apartment is like you have the at least for a two bed, a two bed, two bath. I know you have the two rooms right here. You have your two rooms, and then you have your bathroom, and then your bathroom is just the just the like shower slash tub. And the toilet and then you have um the house like the sink which is on the outside so some it may be a double sink it may be a single sink um typically i think they're double sinks and then you have um your kitchen area so in your kitchen you of course you got a fridge um a microwave a kitchen sink and it's just one sink it's not the double sink and then you have a stove top it's just a stove top it's no oven or nothing and then as far as furniture in the living room area, you just have a couch, um, a couch and it typically comes with another chair and a coffee table. And then like, they give you like an entertainment system. Basically you can set your TV on. And then as far as the rooms, it's like, you have your bed, they give you a dresser, they give you a nightstand and a desk and a chair to go with that desk. That's about it, that's about it. Um, for the fed, four bedroom, four bedroom, two bath ones, it's like two bed, two bedrooms over here, two bedrooms over here, a bath, a bath, you know, your your sink, your sink area, and then you have like your little kitchen area. And it's the same, you know, just a fridge, sink, stove top, possibly microwave. Um, so same same kind of furniture, just a little bit different setup. I don't know what a one bed, one bath looks like. Mind you, like I said, I do hair, so um I know what uh four bed four bed, uh two bed Four bed, two bath looks like because I did somebody's um hair in that type of style. And then I have a friend that had a two bed, two bath. Curfew, room checks, wash card, and key. Well, not really curfew. It's called visitation. So basically, how visitation is set up, um, the places that have visitation are all the dorms, community, community, female, and male. The only ones that don't have like visitation standards is co-ed because male and females live in that dorm. And apartments, of course, don't have um, visitation. Rules. Visitation is basically saying, like, from this time to this time, this is when you can have somebody of the opposite sex in your dorm. You both have to go to the uh, office. Trust me, they can see you. It's windows open, so don't even try it. They're sneaking stuff because if you think they don't see you, they see you. You know, you you won't get caught. You may not get caught one time or whatever, but you're gonna get caught. Don't risk it. That's a big old fine on both of y'all that you don't even want, that you really don't want. Um, just follow the rules. 
not that hard. You really just go in, sign in, give them your ID. The other person that you're bringing into your dorm, they give them their ID, sign your names, room your name, his name, his or her name, depending on male or female, um, your dorm, you know, you put your dorm number and stuff like that. This is for your safety. It's just to make sure, because there have been instances where something has gone wrong in a dorm, but, and the person was snuck in, but something happened to that person because, and like, they didn't really know who did it or what happened because you didn't sign them in. They don't have any form of identification. So you, you know, do this for your safety. Don't try to be like, I'm grown. I can't, you know, I'm grown. Baby, you, if you wasn't on campus, you would still be living in your mama's house. You was not grown. But you know, like just follow the rules. It's not that hard. Don't make it hard on everybody else because if too many people are caught breaking the rules and constantly rebellion like that, they're gonna take away visitation and you're not gonna have it at all. And they're really gonna be writing them fines and checking for y'all. So just be simple when you get there. Follow the follow the rules. You know they don't they don't allow visitation for the first two weeks or so or whatever. Just because one, I think that's a good thing because you have more time to get to know people and people can kind of show their like true character a little bit more. Um, but just because some people will go crazy with it, so it is for your good. Follow the visitation rules. Pully. Next thing is room checks. So room checks is basically where your RA comes around. They check the rooms, check the. Uh, they check the suite area, uh, check your rooms, check the bathrooms, just make sure everything's clean, put up, out the way. You know, if you got trash, go take the trash out, go put them in a dumpster, you know, different stuff like that. Just making sure you just tidy up after yourself and it's not terrible. Wash cart. So wash cart is basically like a little cart that you use um, in the laundry rooms to wash or dry your clothes and you reload it. Now they have reload locations in um, Bowley. And in the union, yeah, Bowley in the union, and also somewhere else, but I really, I don't know where else. But I know for a fact it's in Bowley in the union. The, for Jones, Toddy, and Shay, they have a laundry room on each floor. Um, and it's about like four dryer, four washers, four dryers. Um, now, community bathroom, community dorms, I'm not exactly sure how many they have. That I do know. Oh, and for male dorms, community dorms Bethune my friend stayed in Bethune so I know for two for their they literally had like two washers two dryers baby these are boys and they stink and they, they need them washers and dryers so one thing I'm gonna need something to do is to add some more or whatever because you got all these boys fighting over washing dryer that's why they stink now even if they did have they probably wouldn't wash clothes but I'm just saying give them a chance to wash their clothes and this thing up is dining because you can't talk about you you can't talk about dining without you know you can't talk about campus life without talking about you know where you gonna stay at and where we about to eat at so for dining you have these are your options mayberry dunn bluffet burger king chick-fil-a java city home zone jaguar pod express so Mayberry and Dunn are your dining halls. So Mayberry is near the is at the front of campus. Dunn is right there, connected to Bowling and Old Jones, um, and that's closer to the uh, dorms and apartments. And then you have Bluffet, Home Zone, Burger King, and Chick Fil A. Those are all in the union. Everybody knows Burger King. Everybody knows Chick Fil A. Um, Bluffet is more so like they've been help offering healthier options, but it's kind of like Bluffet style. So you kind of like buffet style but they call it bluffet style because we on the bluff but basically you just kind of pick and choose what you want um they be having some good stuff they have started having op healthier options um i had i did try like their little pita like they had like a pita in a cup if i can find a picture or video i will insert it um it's good um it was pretty good it was like really healthy and i liked it um, home zone is more like home cooked food. Um, so on Wednesdays you go for wing Wednesday, wing Wednesdays. Um, and then on Fridays they be having fish Fridays. I think they may be on like for the first Friday of the month. Don't quote me on it. I don't really know. I'm allergic to fish, so I really don't be checking for it. Now Burger King, I'm gonna get y'all a rundown on Burger King. Burger King always missing something they always don't have something something's you know wrong or broken they take entirely forever um 
and they hardly be open. Then you have Chick-fil-A. The only thing with Chick-fil-A is the lines be extremely, extremely long. Um, but they try to get you your stuff in a timely manner. They get your stuff in a timely manner just about. And then you have Jag Jaguar Pod Express. So Pod stands for Provisions on, on Demand. So people just call it the Pod. You have the locations for that is um, the Union. You have TT Lane. And you have the Law Center. Java City is located in the library. So Java City is kind of, I guess you can think of it like a Starbucks because they have, you know, well, they have like smoothies and they have like iced coffee and coffee. Um, they have little pastries and stuff like, like cakes, muffins, you know, sandwiches or whatever, little drinks, you know. And basically to pay for all of this, you use your check cash and you use um, your swipes, which you get in, with your meal plan. So that brings us to the next thing, meal plans, okay? <laughs> so meal plans, you have your on-campus meal plans and your off-campus meal plan. Jack 19, um, so that gives you 19 meals a week and $100 Jack cash. Jack 16s give you 16 meals per week and $200 Jack cash. Jack 14, 14 meals per week, $250 Jack cash. Jack 12 gives you 12 meals per week with $300 Jack cash. And then Jack 19 is a Jack 19 buddy plan that gives you 19 meals per week. And for those meals uh, could be used for a friend that's actually an off-campus um, meal plan. But I incorporated with the other ones because they all count. Uh, cost $1,604. Um, that's what it should charge on your account. Part of your tuition. For the off-campus, you have um, Jack 4, which is four meals per week and $325 Jack Cash. I'm actually going to be using this meal plan coming up this semester, depending on how everything go with COVID and how they do the classes. If we do a hybrid schedule um, where some days I, you know, have to go to class, I will do, you know, this meal plan so I can at least eat on campus. Um, then you have Block 16, which is one meal per week and $200 Jack Cash. Um, that's $299, and the Jack 4 meal plan is $599. But Block 16, I don't see why anybody would do that. If you're just going to get one meal per week, you might as well not, you know, get it at all, and it's only $200 Jack Cash. Like, you, you might as well not do that. Um, and then you have all Jack Cash for $300, and then you have $100 Jack Cash for $100, and then you can add on $25 additional Jack Cash to any of your plans, and it's going to cost $25. Um, so personally, now as far as choosing your meal plan, the reason why I went ahead and mentioned the exact meal plans is just to help you out. Um, because I know a lot of people have difficulty with choosing their meal plans. Look at your schedule when you choose your meal plans and compare it to the times that the different locations are open, um, such that the different dining halls are open, because that kind of gives you how many times you're approximately going to eat per week. Um, if you know you're not a morning person, not going to wake up for breakfast, go ahead and count that in, depending on when your classes start. Um, as well as like if you have a class during lunch on like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then you know for a fact you only gonna be eating lunch on Tuesday and Thursday when you don't have a class. And then same with dinner or whatever, um, and even breakfast. So just kind of like map it out or whatever, and then you gotta count the weekends. I personally, I think for my fall semester, I chose Jack 16 or Jack 14, but cause you know, I felt like I was gonna eat more, or at least, go swipe more um and so for my spring semester I actually went with jack 12 meal plan because I realized um even though I had the extra swipes you know I wasn't going to the cafe as much I actually spent went through my jack cash more um because based off the way my class is set up because I didn't even if I had even if I could go eat during um you know, during that little short period of time, I had a class after that. So I really didn't have a lot of time to actually go sit and enjoy my meal before rushing to the next class. So a lot of times I would just go and um, get something quick from the union and that required Jack Cash. So I got one with more Jack Cash, you know. So just kind of think about the times. So Mayberry and Dunn have pretty much the same times. Monday through Friday, breakfast is from 7 to 9. You have late breakfast Monday through Friday from 9 to 10. Saturday to Sunday is brunch, 11 to 2. Monday through Friday is lunch, 11 to 2. Monday through Friday, late lunch would be 2 to 3. Then you have dinner is Monday through Thursday from 4 to 8. Friday from 4 to 7. And Saturday and Sunday from 4 to 6. 
Now, where the difference come in is Dunn is closed on Fridays for dinner. And then on Monday through Thursdays, their dinner time is 4 to 7 instead of 4 to 8. And then as far as the weekend's dinner time, you know, weekend dinner and weekend lunch, you know, well, not lunch, brunch, it alternates. So maybe it might be open one weekend and Dunn might be open another weekend. So I am going to go ahead and say that I feel like Mayberry was open more than done. Um, just because sometimes when I be like, okay, done should be open, and it's like, nah, Mayberry open. Like, how y'all supposed to alternate? Like, and, and Mayberry open all the time. And then to give y'all a little insight on some off-campus dining, you know, near the campus or whatever, all of this is going to be including your money, your money, your real money, your card, your cash, not Jack Cash. So you have Subway, which is right right in, before you get across the hump. Then across the hump, you have right there is Empire Wings, Jack in the Box, and McDonald's. Um, and then you also have, like further down the road, there are a lot of Black-owned businesses um, that you definitely should go eat at if you can get there. I really don't know them that well because I didn't have I don't have a car, so I was primarily staying on campus and eating. Um, yeah, I did. I didn't have a way to get there. Oh, and let's not you can't talk about something and forget about Blue Slow Chicken, which is literally right down the road. I've actually walked to Blue Slow Chicken before. It's like um, basically like walking to it on the back of campus by near the Ag Building or whatever, and like cut through like this little section. I can't really exactly tell you how to get there. Somebody took me off of that way. But yeah, that's it for this video. So this, like I said, this video was just talking about housing and dining. I'm trying to keep this videos as short as possible. The next video will be touching on the topic of different buildings um, around campus that you know you need to get familiar with. Um, and yeah, and then a video after that, we'll talk about different events and stuff that's on campus. And you know, things that pop up throughout campus like you should know about such as pretty wednesday you know career week and as far as buildings you know just talking about what's in the um union and like the event center and stuff like that so if you got to this far in the video and you watched it all the way through go ahead and comment a white heart down below so i can know who real and who fake because are you with me or are you with me if you're not Thank you still for watching because at the end of the day, you watched this video, so you still with me, period. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, you know, hit that push bell notification so you'll be notified when I drop another video because baby, your fairy advice mother is here and I am giving you all the tea. Make sure you go get your cup because it's piping hot, honey, piping hot.